Hey, this is John. Thanks for checking out today's video. We're going to do an acoustic guitar lesson on Jane Says by Jane's Addiction off their Nothing Shocking record. One of my students wanted me to put together a lesson for it, so this is for him. I hope he likes it. And if you like it, please like and subscribe down below. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so we can offer some free one on one lessons to students and help get them into some affordable instruments. If you'd like to learn more about that, please check out the Patreon down below where you can join for as little as $5 a month. All right, at a high level, Jane's Says by Jane's Addiction is essentially a two chord vamp between G and A. Uh, there is two guitar parts, an acoustic and an electric. The electric part is playing bar chords in one speaker that's going to go from G to A. And the acoustic part, which sounds like a 12 string, is going to be playing uh, the same chords, but in the first position or like an open position. So it's going to sound like this. Now, if you're a member of my Patreon community, you can go ahead and download the sheet music for this lesson, as well as the guitar pro files. Uh, like I said before, the entire song is based around two chords, G and then A. Uh, the first uh, measure has just a slightly different pattern, and it's down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. So it's... And that little riff I'm doing is... So with the A chord, uh, A chord barred with my first finger, I'm doing two, four, two on the fourth string, and then four open on the fifth string. And I'm playing that along with the chord itself, so it sort of blends in and gives it a nice uh, melodic sound. Now the second measure, uh, and all the other verse measures, are going to have a, just a slightly different pattern, um, and it's going to be as opposed to. Uh, you could probably get away with either one of them in a live band situation, but I just wanted to point out that difference. So the second measure and then going forward is down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So the verse that goes from measure 5 to measure 16 in the sheet music is going to be that same pattern. Until we get to the chorus in measure 17. And we're going to have a modified G chord. So it's going to be... Uh, you've got your third finger, fourth string, fifth fret, second finger, third string, fourth fret, first finger, second string, third fret, and pinky, first string, fifth fret. And then we're going to go from there to a modified A chord. So you're going to have an open five, and then four, three, two, one. So it'd be going to be third string, seventh fret, second string, sixth fret, first string, fifth fret of the second and first strings. So that part together would sound like... And then it goes back into the pattern. Another thing I'd like to point out is there's a couple of lines where Perry sings, she can't hit. Uh, and that is going to land on the G chord, and what we want to do is we want to accent that she can't hit part. So you'll be playing along in a normal verse. And then I'll hear, she can't hit. So it's like, she can't hit. So now is the, not only is the timing a little different, uh, but the rhythm is just a little bit different. 
Well, thanks for watching. That's a quick and dirty tutorial for Jane Says by Jane's Addiction. If you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. If you'd like to download the Patreon uh, guitar lesson for this and the guitar profile, you can become a member over at Patreon. Uh, the link is down below and you can start for as little as $5 a month. The money we do raise on Patreon is going to go towards making videos like this, helping beginners get into some free one-on-one -on -one lessons, paying for reading materials, uh, and getting them into some affordable instruments. If you'd like to learn more, please check it out down below. Let me know if you have any questions. Like and subscribe. Ring that bell, fam. <laughs>